Hey everyone, welcome to Medics Woodworks. Hope you're having a great day today, and thanks for joining us. In today's video, I'm going to show you the steps I took to build the storage rack for my finishing supplies. So let's get to the build. Now continuing on with the shop project theme, this entire project is made from scrap plywood that I already had in the shop. So I started by dimensioning it all out on a table saw. I then cut the shelves to length and began the long process of drilling all the pocket holes in each end of these boards. Next was laying out the shelf locations on what will be the sides of the rack. With everything laid out, then all I had to do was add a little glue, line the shelves up to my marks, and screw them in. Just rinse and repeat for the other side. Before I attached the back, I added glue to all of the surfaces, brad nailed the back on, pre-drilled, and added some screws.
Next was to start installing the French cleat system. So I pre-drilled some holes in the French cleat that will be on the wall and went ahead and lined it up with the studs and screwed it in. I then checked to make sure that my uh, French cleat was centered with the wall and then made sure it was level. Then I just finished securing it to the wall, ensuring that I hit each stud. At this point, all that was left was adding the French cleat to the back of the rack and hanging it on the wall. I did install a small spacer, uh, just a, the same thickness as the French cleat, to the bottom of the rack to keep it from kicking in toward the wall, but I did not get that on video. Since it worked so well, I went ahead and made two of these racks. One has the straight shelves to hold the small quart size cans, and the other has some angled shelves toward the top to hold the spray paint or rattle cans. Alright, so having these in the shop has been great for organization. It's really cleaned up some spaces in the shop. I used to have these cans strewn across the floor, not across the floor, but piled up in a corner. And then you'd have to dig through them and find the uh, color or paint versus stain, whatever you were looking for, in the pile. And now everything is neatly laid out, labels facing out. It's easy to just go grab what you need and uh, get right to work and not have to waste time digging around. Um, if you do like this, J Bates has a set of plans on his website for the, uh, for the one that's got the slanted shelves. Uh, I had to modify them slightly to have one that was uh, completely flat for all the stains and everything, the, the quart size cans. Um, but anyway, he has a set of plans. I'll have those linked below in the description. And if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. It really helps us out a lot. You can also click the bell notification and that'll let you know every time I post a new video. I've also got a link to our Patreon account if you'd like to support what we do here, and that'll also be linked down in the description. And as always, thanks for joining us, and happy woodworking.